this is just a little video to remind you to go for it. When you have an intuition or an impulse that makes you feel good and inspired and maybe even a little frightened in that way of it being something different and something new, which is also a good sign that means you're making new neural connections that are gonna create a, a different life experience and a different future. And there's a quote from, I believe it's the fifth discourse in volume three of the I Am Discourses channeled by Saint Germain. And the last line in it is, whenever you feel a certain joy impulse, grasp it, go forth and decree. And I just wanted to share a story of something that happened to me today and this just ties in with so many things so when you have those little intuitions for something that feels divine and creative and inspiring for you just to go ahead and do it and also as the I am discourses says don't be don't be worried about the manifestation or as the Tao says, right? You have a right to your actions, but not to the fruits of your actions. So just go for it. And it's gonna tie into something that is going to be towards your greatest good and towards your divine destiny, but in a way that will be even better than anything that your conscious mind or your ego could imagine. So my example of what happened to me is, gosh, a couple months ago now, when I first started reading a Course in Miracles and was really getting into this the first time I was really starting to be introduced to the fact that reality is love and reality is God and reality is perfect and divine and it's only these layers of illusion or and um, giving into fear which isn't real that have made it seem like there's this for lack of a better word, shitty world that's full of fear and, and death and all of these things. So I one day was watching a documentary on Mr. Rogers, who is definitely a big time idol and mentor of mine. And afterwards I just, I got this impulse from taking things from Mr. Rogers and A Course in Miracles and Louise Hay, and I just got this impulse to write. And I, I wrote down an article that was probably, you know, eight or 10 pages long in my, in my notebook, handwritten, and I got this impulse to share it right away. And I shared it, I wrote it as a Medium article, and I also shared it on Facebook. Like I copied and pasted it and shared it on Facebook. And it was, Definitely the most spiritual thing I've ever shared. Um, it was probably, the mo in that way, the most vulnerable thing that I've ever shared. I, it felt really radical, it felt really scary, but that was also kind of why I felt like I should do it. Um, I was thinking of a Brene Brown video that I had watched as well at the time that was like, a lot of times the things that you feel most reluctant to do, you know, are the things that that you most need to do to kind of move forward on on what you're meant to do and what you have that the world needs to hear. And I still to this day have not gone back on Facebook and looked at the reaction to that post and I felt scared and I had all of these imaginary conversations for a while. I had totally forgotten about it at this point up to today, but I had I would have these imaginary conversations with you know, the most intellectual people that I could think of, like my, my old college professors or, or yeah, just my very intellectual, rational minded friends and, and would have arguments um, with people about this. And again, this was probably two, almost three months ago. So during this time of coronavirus and solidarity and, and um, solitude, solitude and reading and meditating I've come a very long way in a very short time um, so that doesn't so it, I look back on my reaction to that and I'm like wow like maybe I wasn't really ready to do that but I did it anyway and just today I received an email so unexpectedly probably from one of the people that I would have been very frightened of their reaction like specifically 
I don't think I specifically thought of her, but she's someone who to me seems very artistic and intellectual and I really admire her and I would have really thought of her as someone who might be like, okay, Virginia, you know, time to time to get back to reality. Again, these are this my reality in, in my awareness is the only one there actually is. So these are all conversations with fear that are going on in my head. Um, today I get an email from her that she's opening back up her theater and they're going to be doing a reading of certain pieces. And she was just wondering, like I didn't submit this to her. I didn't, she doesn't even have Facebook, so I don't even know who showed her the article. But I get an email from her saying, we'd really like this, if you're cool with it, we'd really like this piece to be one of the pieces that we read. And I couldn't believe it. Um, and of course I said yes, and I'm so honored, you know, not, she was like, I loved this piece so much. And so not only was this someone who I would have been afraid would have rejected me, she's telling me she loved it and can we read it out loud at the reopening of our theater. And so I just want to encourage you, you know, this is months later and like I said, I had forgotten all about it and who knows what else will happen. If you would like to read that article on Medium, I'll post the link below. It's called Don't Be Afraid to Stop and Turn Around. But I just want to encourage you... Another thing that I think of is one of the only movies I've watched here in Guatemala was La La Land in Spanish, one of my favorite movies. But it's like what happens with Emma Stone in that movie. She goes ahead and she does her play and no one comes. It seems like it's a complete failure. No one comes. She literally hears two of the people that did come out of like five people talking shit about it afterwards and saying how horrible it was and that monologues are always terrible and all these things and she feels like a total failure and wishes she hadn't done it and leaves acting only to find out that one of the people in that audience was someone connected to a very influential casting company and it ends up launching her career but if she hadn't done it even though it seemed like a total failure at the time and seemed really shameful and that to be honest that's how i felt about that article at the time then it couldn't have moved things forward. So I just wanna encourage you that if you have a joyful impulse to do something that feels very you, that feels inspired from spirit, to go ahead and put it out there. That, that impulse is coming from a holy place and the way that it gets figured out and the fruits and manifestations that come from it, I mean, the beautiful thing is it's something you really want to do. So you're doing it for the joy of doing it and it feels natural. And even if there is still some of that attachment lingering, like I definitely had with my article, just go ahead and, you know, then let it go. And this ties in with what Mike Dooley of Notes of the Universe and Infinite Possibilities is always saying. He's always saying, just take baby steps, just every day. Just take little baby steps and at the time it might even seem to be something you're embarrassed about. It might seem to be something that you're like, how is this going to make any difference or no one's going to understand or no one's going to like it or whatever. But you know what? It's something I like doing. It's something I feel a joyful impulse to do. I'm going to go ahead and do it. And then just, just go from there. And that is the world that we live in. That is the divine world of energetic manifestation that we live in that it will produce fruit for you that courage and that inspired truth and expression will produce fruit for you that you don't have control over in the in the exact way that it manifests but that you have absolute assuredness will manifest in a good way because of the good and light and faithful and creative and divine energy that you put into it so this is just a reminder that you don't know, your ego doesn't know. Your ego doesn't know. It's God, it's your big mind, it's your divine mind that knows. And when you get those divine impulses, just go with it. And just have that faith that the divine mind knows exactly how that's going to come to wonderful fruition. And it's going to be so much better just allowing yourself to know you don't know as in your ego doesn't know your i am knows and your i am is going to show you at the perfect time